Hello, beautiful. And how are you doing today? Today, we're back with a new hair evolution video. Last time we did Ariana Grande. Today, we're doing Miley Cyrus. And boy, has Miley had a lot of looks in her life. We're gonna take a trip back, way back, to Disney Channel Miley. I don't know if you remember her. And if the answer is no, I don't remember her. Get off my channel. Leave. I only want Hannah Montana stands watching my channel. Otherwise, this relationship is not gonna work anymore and we're done. And I just feel like it's, it's, you know? So, let's take a trip back, way back, to 2006, and then we're gonna head to 2019. Is that the year we're in? Yeah, okay. 2019. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> 2006, possibly my most favorite time of all. Miley Cyrus, when she had this just virgin hair, I mean, it looks like a little bit highlighted, but also could possibly be from the sun. She was still mad young and this hair was killing it. I mean, in 2006, this was the vibe. If there was a vibe, this was it. So, Miley Cyrus created the vibe. She was the vibe. Still is the vibe. And this hair was great. I mean, we got little barrel curls going on. Love it. We got a little straight bang moment because people still didn't understand like you could frame your face with some bangs. It's like mousy brown, but also like caramelly. It's kind of like a neutral brown going on. Um, and it's very beautiful. If this is a color job by somebody, it's very well done. Besides the fact that the, the bang is kind of dark, I would have liked to see a little bit of like a lighter bang in the front. But beautiful, length is great. The haircut, a little mullety. It, I'm gonna say it. It's a little bit mullety, but it's fine. She still looks like an angel. She looks very youthful and I'm here for it. Oh, 2008, we brought the bangs in. And we're gonna, we're gonna review something later on in this video that has to do with bangs because something happened recently um, that has to do with bangs and Miley Cyrus. Mm -hmm. So she has bangs and she has this kind of, not my favorite color. She doesn't look, obviously she doesn't look fat. She looks fabulous. Listen, I don't think she's ever looked bad, but this was not it. It just wasn't it. it. Just isn't gonna be it for me. It's gonna be a no from me on this one. I'm not the biggest fan of bangs. I mean, sue me, sue me girl, sue me, sue me. I'll just get off camera. I'm sorry for all you guys that have bangs out there. Not the biggest fan of blunt bangs, all right? I don't know what it is about blunt bangs. It just ain't me. It ain't me. Never been a thing for me. But if it is for you, then girl, more power to you. So, the color, I don't know what is going on. I think this is also just a 2008 kind of color, you know? I think we've advanced a lot in uh, hair color as of the last five years. Before, I don't think a lot of people knew what the hell they were doing with color or how to make somebody look better with hair color because the ends of her hair are so dark and the top is so light. Like naturally your hair doesn't lighten like that. And it just looks very unnatural and stripy. But again, 2008, who knows? Okay, 2010. Now we're getting into the good stuff. This, <laughs> I love this. This kind of, Auburn, no, this kind of like caramel brown she's rocking. Kind of like a dark blonde, like very, very, very warm. Listen, they did a really good job of like matching her makeup to her hair because her skin is very warm in this picture and it's really bringing out her skin and making her look very like full of life and tan and fabulous. And I'm pretty sure this is the year that I Can't Be Tamed came out which was my anthem. I think every little gay boy's anthem was I can't be tamed. My mom was like, Brad, why do you dress like that? Why do you have those piercings? And I was like, mom, I just can't be tamed. You understand that? And if you could just move back a little bit. Thank you. Personal space, mom. So she kind of changed my life back then. And I love this look. I mean, it, it just really hits home for me. It makes me like comfy. Like I just remember her in the Can't Be Tame video with this hair color. It was everything. I like the very contrasting, contrasting? Girl, what? I don't know, I think it's fun. I think it's cool. I think it's very rock star and I love that so much. Moving on. Ooh, 2011. Wow, okay. So Miley Cyrus 2011, this was at the Grammys. Kind of killing it. I don't know if these are extensions. I think it's her real hair. I think she has really nice natural hair from what I can understand. And and again, I'm living for this like 
kind of golden brown blonde moment. I think it's really fun for her. It really brings out her eye color and her skin tone. It makes her look very healthy and glowy. I think she's looking radiant and fabulous. I don't know if I really love this hair style per se. The little half up, like very flat on top kind of moment. Maybe is very 2011. I don't really remember that being a thing, but we can pretend it is for Miley, okay? I'll let this one slide. I love these chunky highlights though. Like I think they look dope on her and she was definitely going for edgy in 2011. Like she was like Miley, Disney Miley. And then she was like, you know what? Screw this. Like I'm gonna be edgy and show people like what I can do. And then she like really kind of went for it after that. And that is when I fell in love with Miley. Mm -mm. It was like Hannah Montana. Yeah, cool. She's dope. And then it was like hardcore Miley. I was like, yes, give me more of that. <laughs> Sorry, my neighbors. 2012 Miley. Oh, I'm blushing. This is too much for me. She looks hot. Okay, this look, I don't even care about her hair, but this look, can we repeat this again, Miley? Can we do this again? Because, whoo, hot. Wow, I'm sorry, I forgot about this look. This hair color is amazing. Oh my God. Hello, can I talk to Miley Cyrus hair colorist? Hey, you did an amazing job in 2012. Okay, it was good talking to you too. Okay, bye. It was amazing. All I have to say is like, yes, can we bring the bob back? Cause that was stunning. And this like volume, like usually I'm not a huge fan of like crazy volume. Like I definitely am bigger fan of like crazy rocker hair, like just looks undone. But oh my God, like this volume with that, mm, with that pouch, she's like, what? And then this hair color is ah, like divine hot. Just all around hot. The bob was amazing. Oh, I'm getting to some rocky territory. So, listen, I'm a big fan of people changing their looks. I think when this happened, I was like, whoa, this is everything. And everybody else was like, oh my God, why did she do that? Like, that's horrible. And I was like, you show those conservative people what a badass rocker chick looks like. And she did. And so, listen, I'm not judging the colorist who did this. I am not because uh, honestly, her hair looks very yellow in this picture, but I think it might have been from like the background like reflecting also and like just the lighting was off. But I would have liked to see her more, more of like a smoky blonde maybe. Maybe something like this. I think it's just like too much yellow for her skin tone and she was very like pink looking in this. But listen, dope. I think it's so fun. I think that I would have maybe not done that haircut with that styling, but I still think it's so fun and like extremely iconic. And I, <gasps> it was so good for her and her career. And I just was so happy for her that she was like, you know what, I'm gonna do whatever I want. And I don't care what anybody says. Like that was the best moment for me. Like I just related to Miley a lot when she did this. And like, this is when I stand, standarded Miley the most was when she was kind of like, you know what? I'm gonna be whoever I wanna be. And I was like, yes. And everybody else was like, no. And I was like, keep going, you know? Okay, see, now this is more up my alley. Like, I think she looks sick in here. This is 2013 and she went shorter and she did this spiky thing and she has granite roots. And I just think she looks so punk rock and cool. And this, I definitely dig this way more. Like, I just like kind of undone looking hair. Like just kind of like you woke up and just went like this and wore it out. But in reality, you did like three hours of styling. Like that is what I'm living for. And I love that it's asymmetrical. And like, there's one part like standing up. There's one part like messed up that way and it's grown out and it's just punk rock and dope. The 2013 Met Gala. Namaste. Yes. Yes, she was dressed by Marc Jacobs. I remember all of this. See, I love this. You guys probably think I'm crazy and I know I make no sense sometimes, but like, this is so fun. I love it. I love that she took that risk and just did it. Like, it takes balls, guys, to do this and like go on this red carpet with all these celebrities. Really scary. For an introvert like me, it's scary as hell, girl. I love it. She's giving me punk vibes, and that was the theme of Met Gala that year. Wow, I wish I went to that. I would have turned looks out. The famous 2013 hairstyle, the space bun moment, where she, I think, did like the twerking thing on the MTV Music Awards. Oh, I know my Miley facts. They're probably all incorrect, but Miley stands just coming for me. They're like, no! I mean, they were there. 
They were definitely there. I wasn't a huge fan of that. Not a big fan of space buns, guys. Oh, if you watched my Coachella video last year, you would know that. I literally hate space buns. I don't know what it is. I don't know what happened to me in my childhood that made me hate space buns because they are like a fun, cute thing, but it's just not my vibe. And then she was like, I'm just gonna cut it again. This is 2014 pre-Grammy Award party. And yes, yes, Miley. This was slam dunk for me. This was, oh yes. She looks like a ray of sunshine in this picture. Like, hello? I love this. This pixie is everything for me. Um, Beautiful, stunning. This color looks so good with her skin. You just kind of have like yellow undertone to it, but it's a little more like sandy and it looks perfect. Like honestly, this should just be her look forever. It was incredible for her. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we kind of did more variations of it in 2014. We did a kind of a darker moment. Not a big fan of this one. Oh, this is 2015 Met Gala. I love it. I love this look. I love the blue hair. I wish she actually did blue hair at some point. Like, cause she had platinum blonde hair. She could have had a lot more fun with it and done like colors all the time. Okay, my life. I'm gonna stop doing that because my hair is gonna fall off head, but she had definitely had fun with it. I love the blue. I love that they did it slick back. It was really good for her and really just added to her, her vibe. 2015 MTV Music Awards. Oh, I remember hating this. <laughs> Listen, okay. The whole look was definitely not my style. I wish they filled in her hairline a little bit. Like I, like she has this very big, you know, spaces going on over here. They could have filled it out with some eyeshadow and just made it look a little bit cleaner. But I appreciate like the art behind it. Like I think this is like fun. I think it's this is very like New York City club kid vibes. And I think it's cool. I just wouldn't have taken it in the direction that maybe this person took it, but I still appreciate the art behind it. And I still think it's fun, but not totally in love with it. And then we got an outfit change at the Grammys that year. And did the pink hair, which was also really fun. Again, not quite myself. I think it's just because like, I wish they did this part pink also, but again, it's still kind of a look. I loved this. Listen, this Miley was one of my favorite Miley's ever. I just love what she did on the Disney side. Miley 2016 then started really growing, her, well, Miley 2015 was growing her hair back. Then Miley 2016 was really showing that her hair was growing back after that undercut mohawk moment she had. And it's starting to look really like cute and you're definitely seeing the struggle here of growing out an undercut, you guys. It's not easy. You get a really bad mullet real quick. Uh, so this is it. And she kind of just let her color go, <laughs> which was definitely a choice which was definitely a, a choice that shouldn't have not been made. This is when I started to get really worried. Like I was worried before about her color and now I'm like, girl, what's happening? This is like some bad ombre shit going on. It was rough for a little while. I still think it's like cool and punk rock, but like not quite my least style. Wasn't my vibe. Like this is when Malibu came out. Oh my God, I hope that's correct. And I remember being like, whoa. That is some roots. Those are roots. If you've ever wondered what roots look like, that's it. Wasn't a big fan. And then she colored her hair. Woo! Praise the hair color gods. She colored it and it looks cool. It looks cool. I really like this length on her. She's keeping with the blonde. Thank God, because I just think she looks so good as a blonde. And I like this hair. I think the styling was interesting. I don't hate it. I think it looks a little unfinished, but I think that was like kind of the vibe they were going for. Doesn't really make a total sense to me, but I think I feel it. You know, I don't hate it. I don't love it. The color looks cool. Chunky highlight moment, kind of like a balayage, chunky balayage. Fun. They finally fixed her ombre mess the, that she just grew out over time and gave us this. And that dress was sickening and she looks hot as hell. Fire, yes, Miley. Which brings us to 2019. That is the year we're in. We have a couple of different looks I wanna go over. Okay, so we have Miley at the Grammys where she debuted her long as hair. It is getting mad long. The color looks so good. I love it so much. The styling looks fabulous. I just think she looks majestic and just like a full grown woman. It looks so good. I love that side slick moment with a little bit of slick up here. It looks a little greasy, a little grungy. She looks professional and cool and she's giving it to us. And she colored her hair and it's growing out so nicely. And she has, I think, one of the most beautiful heads of hair any celebrity in Hollywood has. It is quite a head of hair and I love it. It looks great. And then the internet was shook because Miley got bangs by Sally Hershberg. 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 I never pronounce her name. Hershberg. 
Sally Hirschberg. Okay, and Justin Anderson did her color. Hi, Justin, how are ya? Do you see this? How you doing, boy? Justin Anderson, who did the color, is a friend of mine, and he obviously did an amazing job. Justin is a fabulous, fabulous hairdresser. He does a lot of celebrity work. <sighs> and, I mean, her color looks sick. Sick. And the bangs, I, okay, I said in the beginning I don't like bangs, but like, I think this is fun. I think it's like the long hair with the shaggy bangs that I do sort of like. It's just when they're too blunt, I'm, I get a little like, ooh, let me not do that. This look, everybody was so shook about because she looks like, she looks like Hannah Montana again, and that's what she said on her Instagram, like, Hannah Montana's back, and everybody was like, yes, really? Thank you. <laughs> everybody was so excited, and so was I. How can you not be excited about that? Like, what? I love the styling of it, too. I like that it's a little greasy looking, a little textured, PC, wavy, funky, beachy, sickening. I'm getting tired. I better stop filming this video. <laughs> I've reviewed so many looks, okay? And that's how I feel with the last look of the night of this video, okay? That was Miley Cyrus's hair journey throughout the years. That We covered how many years? Oh my God, I can't do math. 20, 2006? I don't know, did I start in 2006? That was 13 years. 13 years of Miley's hair. That was a 13 year evolution of Miley Cyrus's hair and if that math isn't right, then don't come for me. Or you can, but it's fine. I don't know, I don't know how to count. So we saw everything from long to short to brown to white to buzz cut from undercut to mohawk to long hair to ombre to bad ombre to longer hair to nice color to bangs. And then we're here again at the bang situation and it's great. And I love it. And Miley had so much fun with her hair. And I love just people that have fun with their hair. I just think hair, just have fun with it. You know, you got one head you for your life and you might as well just pull as many looks as you can before you die. Cause it's fun that way, you know? And you guys, if you never colored your hair before or cut it, just go for it. It really changes your outlook in life. It makes you feel fresh and new and makes you want to do new things with your life. And it's fun. I don't know. That's how I feel about it, but. <sighs> Okay, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, BradMondoNYC, and XMondo on Instagram because that's my brand and like I make cool hair products. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget to live your extra life. I will see you all next time. Peace.